Kojo Raps on TV. I'm here at the MTK Academy launch uh, down at the Soho Hotel. I'm also here with the, I'll say, former WBC uh, flyweight champion, Charlie Edwards. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing great, thanks. And uh, thanks for having me on the channel. No, thank you for coming on. It's been a while since we've seen you. Um, lots happened. We've got a bigger studio. You've collected world titles since we saw last interviewed you. Um, just wanted to talk about this event, though, firstly. Um, how important is this type of an event to the community, your Londoner, yourself, having that access to boxing in a career? How important is that? Do you I know? think it's great, especially for the younger generation. It's aimed at 16 to 18 year olds. Yeah. Um, you're getting a qualification. It's something that you're passionate about. Mm. And more, more importantly, it keeps all the crime off the streets. Yeah, yeah. Like if someone comes from a troubled background, mm. which a lot of Londoners and a lot of people do, yeah. it, 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 if, you, if you've got a passion in boxing yeah. and you've got a passion in fighting, yeah. violence, if you can channel it, channel that kind of negative energy into the right way yeah. and then you get into this course and yeah. then you get taught a lot of valuable lessons, yeah. it can change things massively yeah. moving forward and not only to get people off the streets but in the world of boxing, these young kids coming through are very clever and very intelligent and kids always learn things very quick and, and if they can learn what they need to know, they can develop into great human beings. Yeah. And I mean, just on that point, that's actually quite key because it's not just about people that want to be boxers, it's about people that would like to be in industry but don't know how, yeah. maybe they don't have the confidence to get into boxing, so they're thinking, how can I be a coach? This is the pl perfect platform for them, right? Well, the, the, that's, that's, the, that's the biggest thing that kills people's dreams, is yeah. a not knowing how. Yeah. If something's in place where you can look and think, actually I fancy that you know I'm going to go for it and they, they, they make the move to go for it and they go into a classroom and they don't feel like an idiot because everyone there don't know what they're doing so they're all learning from the word go so it, it's, it's great like MTK Global the things they do for boxing it's changing the world yeah. and the positivity they're pushing out of there it's, it's changing people's lives more than anything yeah. and I spoke with Ohara earlier I spoke with Archie Sharpin I just want to follow on that point MTK the access they give for fighters you know yeah. and I don't want to say second chance but guys that maybe you didn't have the right friends in the Team GB yeah. and that type of setup. They're the perfect platform to give fighters an opportunity to have a boxing career, right? Yeah, they're giving, that's it. They, they're giving the opportunities and they're making people's dreams come true. Yeah. And even if people don't do it the first time, mm. they can come back and, and they're going to stick by them and support them all the way till they do it. Look at me, I lost my first world title fight. MTK stuck by me, they believed in me and they, they pushed my career to get me another one and then I won it. Yeah, and that's, that's an important thing, having that belief. Um, it's 2019, I'll say We'll say it ended positively because it ended in the right decision was made, it was a bad launch. Um, but looking at 2020, um, what is on the horizon for Charlie Edwards? Um, 2020, new year, new me. New decade. <laughs> new decade, new weight. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be a great year. Um, I'm going to be out again in April. Okay, well, on an that's, that's the unspoken card, right? Yeah, no, no, on an MTK show. MTK, oh, okay. On an MTK show, going out on ESPN. Where will that uh, I think it's in your call. Nice. So um, it's a local one back in my hometown. In oh, a long time. Yeah, so it's good to go back. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Remember where you come from. So it's good to come back. Um, also, also, like my contract's up to Veddy now, so um, I'm, I believe you'll want to work with me again. Yeah. But I know I've got another load of offers on the table, yeah. so I'm listening to my management team, MTK Global, my advisor, yeah. getting back out, keeping busy, get back mm -hmm. to winning ways. Yeah. And um, my last performance wasn't my best. Mm -hmm. I was dead at the weight. I was in against a real killer, yeah. and it, the way it went wasn't the way I would want to retain the title. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not in the most positive situation right now so I'm looking forward to getting back in there getting back to winning ways yeah. get back into the positive limelight mm -hmm. and then um, put on a real good performance and show everyone what I am like at this new way and I'm a much better fighter much stronger everything I'm healthier and um, so yeah and then and then from there we've got all the offers on the table and um, whoever comes up with the best I suppose my advisor is going to push me down the right road and it's going to be a, a great year for sure yeah no good and that's good to hear in terms of um, obviously you've spoken about moving up in Wade, um, and the reasons behind that. Are you looking to affiliate with any government body um, straight away, or are you just going to test out the scene domestically? Um, I'm I'm ranked number three in the WBC world rankings already, so there's a potential world title shot in the near future for me at that weight. My next fight's going to be in the super flyweight limit, but it's going to be only a pound below bantamweight, so it classes still a super flyweight to see where I'm at and keep me in the super flyweight rankings and wherever the opportunity 
opportunity arises, the, the, the biggest profile, the most money, the right, the right fight, it's all there and my advice is gonna gonna push me down the right route. And at the moment in terms of like potentially sparring training, how are you feeling with the new weight? Are you I'll say you're adapting yeah. easily adapting. or any uncomfortable moments? Yeah, no, adapting great. Yeah. I've been like even when I was preparing for my last fight, when I was weighing like fifty seven kilograms, when I was sparring against featherweights, I was strong, I was sharp, I was really really good in the ring and um the last, the last six kilos, it killed me. It's a stone. I'm not exactly like my body fat percentage is so low anyway, and um, I'm not I'm I'm not a small flyweight. I'm a I'm, I'd still be big for bantamweight like, height wise. So it's just about filling into the to the weight in the right way, and um, yeah. So whoever, whatever. And last question, I say last last part of the comment. Um, your brother, he's yeah he again. Great 2019, yep. um, big things for him. Um, how proud are you to see what he's achieved and the options that are available to him, knowing that you guys grew up together and you're now fighting at world level? Yeah, I'm, I'm really <coughs> proud of him. He's doing very well. Everything that's been asked of him, he's delivering and some. Mm -hmm. So um, he's British champion now. Um, so 2020 for him is going to be a great year. Yeah. I think he wants to defend the belt three times to keep it outright, mm -hmm. which is, is a great decision, I think. He's only young, mm -hmm. so he's got no rush to get to world level. Although if the opportunity comes, I know he's going to jump in there. But when he jumps in for his first world title shot, he's going to be ready, and um, the team's going to all be behind him. Fight, he exactly. Was on his toes and the guy yeah. the ring, but he saw his ring yeah. smarts, right? Exactly. But like I said, time is an essence in the sport of boxing, and the time has got to be right. And when the time's right, he will he'll be crowned world champion. Last, last question, no tongue in cheek. Will we ever get the opportunity to see you and your brother fight on the same card? And who do you think Ooh, should headline? Same card. Same card. Potentially. Yeah. Potentially. Like like I said, I've got a lot of offers on the table now, so who knows? Um, Just testing the waters. But um, I don't know. I don't know who would be headline. I suppose who's going to fight for the bigger title at the time. Yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting on his undercard, and I'm sure he wouldn't mind fighting on mine. We, yeah. we would take over the card. It would probably be half card. Exactly. You know? It would be your house, definitely, yeah. right? Yeah. Just and Charlie Adams, thank you very much thank for your you. time. All the best for 2020. Look forward to having more interviews with you and getting you down in the studio. Nice one. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Top man. Yeah. Thank Cheers. you. Go to it. Signing out. How you doing, mate? Yeah.